farmers are opposed to this because we do not need more regulation on what we're doing. We're trying very hard with the resources we have to pass on what we have to the next generation. I grew up on this farm and um, I remember when we used to plow and disc and the stream down in front of the house after a rain would be muddy. We're using, convention, we're using uh, continuous no-till, which that stream is no longer muddy after it rains. We're using split application of nitrogen so that it doesn't leach into the stream and work its way into the Chesapeake Bay. We're um, using buffer strips. Many of these things are um, not paid for by government programs. Many of them are. But it all works to make the bay better. There is no new money attached to this um, that's going to be expenses. We're going to have to pocket ourselves for regulations that in many cases are doing no good because we're already doing the programs now. We're using continuous no-till. We do not get a government subsidy for using continuous no-till. So there is no record of it. So it's not in the computer model. It looks good for government. They feel like that they can make a law, require us to do this, put undue financial obligations on us, and they feel good and we're stuck with paying the bill. That's unfair to me. That's unfair to um, my brother and son who farm with me. You can't fix, fix it overnight. It's going to take patience and a little bit of love and caring.